What's up everybody and hope you guys are having an awesome weekend so far. I just wanted to share a little bit of a new LEGO City model that will be appearing in future displays and of course the 2014 Christmas layout. Now I'm sure some of you guys have seen my LEGO City traffic lights and even the video that I posted in 2010 explaining how to build one. But the problem with those old lights was that as realistic as they looked, I felt that they were a little bit too fat, if you would. They were a little too wide. And I felt that it was a standard that needed to be re replaced and pretty much reassessed. So I came up with a solution on LEGO Digital Designer last year. Designed the standard using these um, two stud long Technic uh, tubes. And with a slight adjustment, managed to make it at long last a reality. So here is, and I'm going to be revealing it for the first time, the new Miami Traffic Light 2.0. So we have here mostly Technic pins, Technic um, bars and beams supporting the traffic light instead of a bunch of bricks uh, interlocked and stacked on top of each other. Um, a series of Technic joints that connect the mast arms just and in fact it was done enough so to look like the real deal and here are two variants that I'll be working with and believe it or not some features such as the illuminated signs and the traffic light uh, signals themselves are being reused so it's a versatile and it's kind of an old meets new type of system the big advantage of this is that it is much more skinny and one interesting perk is that the signals are able to rotate so you could rotate horizontally like so or you could pretend that you're installing a new light put the lights face down and then when you're ready to activate the signals you could put them face forward and make them run properly um, there are a couple holdbacks that we'll be looking at as this is only a pilot program one of them is not really major it's the fact that these uh, one by two beams or uh, tubes so to say have these little slits that's a mold feature that was incorporated into this element back in 2008 now there isn't much I could do about it but at least what I'm doing is I'm kinda of making do with it I'm leaving those slits towards the back of the signal so that the front of the signal the more proper and display side of it could be visible to motorists and it would look a little more appealing to the uh, people facing the signal. Another holdback is the fact that these lights are not the strongest in the world but I'm not going to say that these lights were much more sturdy. Now if I want to add a third or fourth light, chances are I have to give a very good um, interior support and right now my elements are a bit limited so if I want to make it go all the way out here or pretty much if I want to have a, a traffic signal cover about four lanes of traffic it would require quite a bit of work and quite a bit of engineering design to design something as sustainable but however since we are talking a Lego city and mostly areas of very high density that feature is not really important right now so of course with time I'll be figuring out ways to improve the standard but so far I'm finding that this is a much more lucrative and much more visually appealing standard than the older system. Now I want you guys to let me know what y'all think about these new traffic lights in the comments below and of course I'm open to suggestions as to how to improve them. So with all of that said I want to thank you guys for watching and hope that you guys have a great rest of the month and a great Halloween. Thanks again and I'll see you guys soon. T.E. out.